Got a few beauty queens in here with me that are representing some of modern day's augmentation beauty practices. Just giving a, a commentary on what is America's idea of beauty in the modern age and how we are striving to meet those standards in an unrealistic and uh, and fake and fake ways. The idea was you have all these people come out to see the parade. I wanted the audience to feel like they were the ones being watched. The project was to go as a giant hand. And uh, we would have had a thumb, but I kind of like us being a neutral hand. You don't know if we're right or left handed. and. Um, we're, just, we're giant fingers, so the point is interactivity because we can like wave, we can grab things, we can point, uh, we could give the peace sign, we could give the middle finger, so uh, the peace can have whatever meaning we make it have. Markham, I came up with the idea because I want people to wash up. I had to come up with the idea because I can't walk for a mile because I have a problem with my bones. And so I was like, hey, I'll just make something out of a shopping cart. We decided to paint each of us as different works of art that are well recognized. Just because. I am Lichtenstein. <laughs> I'm Andrian. Um, I'm the Starry Knight. I'm Pollock. I'm um, Warhol. And I'm Monk. Weekly meetings for uh, you know Art Hall, which is a Cincinnati-based you know collaborative and performance art group. I came to a meeting and someone said, "Here's a parade invitation for you know the IMA's opera session." 
you know, yada, 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 and said, okay, I want to have a robot parade. Was everybody responsible for their own robot, or did you guys, like, have robot parties? I held little robot buildings, and people came and built robots all day long. Can you talk a little bit about your project and how you um, decided to build it? Well, we wanted something that would be interactive and that would, so we thought of a ball because balls are really fun for kids and for everybody. So we decided to, we just went with like, how can you make a big, big ball to make an impression? And we have 10 artists involved. They all got pieces of canvas. They painted pretty much in their style. And then we cut it up, collaged it, and put it together. Here it comes. Are you ready? Like the sunflower, follow the light. And it's a takeoff on the philosophy of the Church Within and also one of the projects of Global Peace Initiatives where we do the mass planting of sun sunflowers all over communities to tell people that number one, we love them, we love the neighborhood, and we remind them as we plant the flowers that they'll see the flower all summer long and remember that love. sort of talking about how the neighborhood's growing and how we, uh, what what do you say, socialize through gardening and flowers and how we've all grown sort of together organically and now we're all good friends just because we live by each other. This is the Woodruff Place Marching Lawn Chair Brigade. We're the finest semi-precision marching lawn chair brigade in the Midwest with emphasis on semi. We've uh, been organized since 1993 and our motto is harmless fun since 1993. And our auxiliary motto is when the parade stops, we sit. idea? Um, we just thought it would be funny just to have a bunch of people running around under a blanket <laughs> devouring people, but I don't know. Cool. Well, well, I couldn't resist jumping into it. It's us by numbers. Um, it's what we all create by working together. So this is about Fountain Square, and all the artwork is designed about Fountain Square, and about 400 people work together to, to paint this. Super cool. How did you come up with this idea? It's a, about community, and it, I needed a positive way. This is actually the rest of my career. I'm going to work around the city and then the state and the country doing these for individual communities um, about what we all create by working together on projects. Eaters. They are poets extraordinaire. They're wonderful.
Garden. We're with the Johnny Appleseed Color Guard. And we are distributing seeds, wildflowers, Echinacea and Coreopsis. So how did you come up with this idea? Well, Johnny Appleseed traveled from Massachusetts to Indiana, and he's buried in Indiana. Um, and you know, he was planting apple seeds. So we thought we would take that idea, and we were coming from the west, so we're reversing his route, traveling west to east, and passing out native wildflower. This project is called Saddle Drag. And it's just about um, Western migration and sort of the, the myth of the cowboy and how that's romantic, but how that's also kind of problematic as well. In what way? Um, just in terms of, you know, like colonizing the West and taking that over and sort of the, the whole manifest destiny idea. And, and so this, the saddle kind of eroding and it's breaking to pieces is kind of emblematic of that. companies uh, that are charging people extra to uh, look at certain content. My name is Abdul, IndianaBarrister.com and WXNT. Today we are the Lone Blogger, which is the story of my love life every once in a while. We're trying to blog from the parade and having a great time doing it. Of course, a little bumps in the road. It's a little tricky, but that's just like blogging. One, two, three. Sarah, move into the shot just a little more, honey. All right, guys, perfect. We created the Indiana Brown Bat, the, uh, the wow. Barn Owl. This is a Red Salamander. This is the Indiana bat right over here. This is the bee. Although they're not endangered, they are having a collapse of their hives and they're not exactly sure why. So they're definitely an animal that needs to be looked out for. We are the Indianapolis Arts Center team. We are all about China. We're bringing in programming for the summer called Two Worlds, One Language Through Art. We're doing family activities. This is just highlighting what our whole summer is about. See, all shi shiny, sunshiny, and radiant. Tell us about your project. We're taking right. revenge on all the little children right. that uh, took their anger out on us through the de decades for candy. We're sick of this. Remember the next time you try to hit a pinata. No candy for you. No candy for you, man. I will hit candy out of you. demonstration of peace because that's what we need is more peace. No war, no war, no war. Talk about this project. 
Yo, this is TTT, he's magic, and we're bringing it to everyone in anime and our friends here, and we just love it. <laughs> and he's gonna make his way back to IMA, right? Oh, yeah, we're all gonna bounce on top of him. Oh, yeah? He's gonna fill us with our love and magic and spirituality, and everyone's gonna believe and joy, and that's what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm from Friends with You, I'm one half of Friends with You, uh, me, myself, and Sam, uh, Arturo, and we're just making happy for everyone. No, no, straight. Straight, straight, straight. This way a little bit. Okay, you're good. Is this your project? Well, yeah, the group of people walking with us. Oh, uh, okay. Can you tell us about it? Uh, it's the space tank from the Kai. Uh, it's Kai stands for Contemporary Arts well, we're Initiative. From, we're from Lafayette, Indiana. We are playing with pseudo-realities. We are bringing a military parade into the art parade. And, um, you know, it's all about flaunting and it's all not real. And so that's um, the idea. In part, this work is based on um, writings by Walter Lippmann, the world outside and the pictures in your head. That if you don't experience an event in person, you then respond to it emotionally. So we've composited a, a collage of military marches, uh, parades from World War One, Korea, China, World War Two, etc. Uh, so not only are we wearing the virtual parade, but we're suggesting that there's an element of propaganda in how um, understandings are shaped by imagery. Hi, I'm Heidi Shackleford, Darren Shackleford, and we're at Peewinkle's Puppet Studio, and this is one of our big jesters.